guys, welcome to a new episode of the Forager's Guide to Wild Foods. The first post that I have for you is all about foraging for willow by growforagecookferment.com. While this post is not about eating um, willow for food per se, it is about how it is used for herbal medicine and also how willow can help um, other plants that you have grow. And it's a, it's a really great, great post. The second one is a recipe for pickled Jerusalem artichokes. And um, Jerusalem artichokes are a tuber that is not an artichoke and also not from Jerusalem. So I've never had them pickled, but um, I have had them sort of cooked like potatoes and they were really good. So they were like creamy and buttery, but really light. So um, they're awesome. And um, this one should be awesome as well. And then the next one is how to make a sweet powder carob or honey locust pods. I'm not really familiar with um, honey locusts, but um, in the post it says that um, they grow a lot in like the northern United States and um, basically you make this powder from the seed pods not the seeds you don't do anything with the seeds sort of a alternative to a sweetener it's like a sweet powder it's like a, a sweet powder the pixie pocket has a great article about um, chickweed and um, it's all about uh, chickweed and all of its wonderful qualities. Chickweed is a very tiny plant that grows in your yard and um, it's often overlooked but um, it really is a wonderful food source and also um, uh, for it has a lot of medicinal uses as well. So um, if you're not familiar with chickweed, check out this post by the Pixie Pocket. Imagine that you're walking in the woods and you come across a purple fern. Imagine that fern is an invitation to a special wild crafted feast. Betsy Hines is the artist and wondersmith behind some very magical creations. I urge you to check out this awesome, amazing recipe for juniper beetroot truffles. Um, it is awesome. Check out our Patreon page. You can see the recipe. You can see other things she's done. She's got a video that explains what she's doing, and um, it's so cool. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> this one is by the Backyard Forager, and it's a post about acorns, all about foraging for them, turning them into flour. Um, and uh, so, if you haven't uh, if, so if you're interested in acorns and you haven't read anything about it, this is a really good post. Since it's winter, one may think that there's nothing you can forge, but there apparently is a lot. This post by growforagecookferment.com is about 30 edible and medicinal plants that you can forge in the winter. In this article, I learned that there's everything from conifer needles and juniper berries to acorns and rose hips, leaves like beer berry and roots like chicory, mushrooms and seaweed, and even lichens like old man's beard. A must read for anyone interested in doing some foraging this winter. So that's it for this episode of Forager's Guide to Wild Foods, and um, I want to thank all of our awesome bloggers, and if you have a blog posts that, um, you know, you would like to submit for, you know, to be on the next episode, let me know in the comments, and, um, bye!